Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at how you can use Merge within SQL. Now, what a Merge allows you to do is update information within a table based off of either a query or another table. Now, some terms that you should know, uh, first off, the table that you're gonna be updating is gonna be known as the target, and then the information that you're gonna be using to update it is gonna be called a source, which again, could either be a query or it could be another table. Now, some real world applications of this, let's say there's data that is missing within the target table. Let's say you have a customer list and your sales team has a few new customers that you need to be added into that. Well, you can use a merge to be able to do that. Another good example is if customers still owe you money for a software that they purchased. Well, the source table might have updated information on customers that paid it off fully and your target table may say they owe money. Well, being able to update that one table through a merge will show that the customer no longer owes any specific money. Now, before we do end up coding, I just wanna give you a heads up that this is gonna be a little bit more programming than normal SQL videos, uh, but it's honestly not too bad once you have the syntax down. All right, let's start working on this problem together. So a quick backstory before we run into the data, uh, we're gonna be looking at the 3000 strikeout club, which in baseball is elite club of pitchers who have 3000 strikeouts. Most of those end up in the baseball hall of fame. So I have two tables over here, strikeouts, 3000 target and strikeouts, 3000 source, just to make this coding example a little bit easier. Now target has every member of the 3000 strikeout club at the end of the 2022 season. So there's 19 here in total, right? And the last two to join the list, I believe, were Max Scherzer and Verlander, who are both active pitchers as of the moment. Next, we have Strikeouts 3000 Source. So these are the top 10 active pitchers in MLB with their strikeouts. Some of these guys will end up being in the 3000 Strikeout Club, like Greinke and Kershaw, who could possibly hit both of these this season or early next. Uh, and then you have other pitchers that are like 2,500 less. And then I'm at number 11. I have 3,001 strikeouts and it's Best for the tutorial to show you an example on that one, 25 years old. I have no MLB experience, so there's no way I'd have 3,001 strikeouts, uh, although I do wish I pitched in MLB. With that being said, though, um, essentially what I would like to do is update the totals of Scherzer and Verlander because their values are different between the two tables, and then also insert myself into this 3,000 target list. I'm going to be the 20th pitcher with 3,000 strikeouts. So just to show you the number difference on these two, we go over here and grab Scherzer. Right, he has 3193 and Verlander has 3198. Let's just comment both of these out. So we need to update these values. I'm just gonna say update. And then down below, you can see that Scherzer, 3232, Verlander, 3220. And then also, I'm gonna put over here after update, I'm gonna say insert. I'm in this out and we're going to put Ryan Nolan with 3,001 strikeouts, baseball hall of fame. Here we go. And that is what we're going to be working on with this merge statement. So we're going to update these two values and then I'm going to insert myself into this 3,000 target. So let's start writing out this query. And first thing that we're going to do is define our target and that's the table that we're going to be updating. So we're going to be updating this 3,000 list, uh, Guaranteed everyone in here has 3,000 strikeouts. Again, some retired players like Nolan Ryan has retired a long time ago. And there's even older players in here like Walter Johnson that played in the early 1900s. So uh, we're going to do merge. And then we're going to put in that table name that we want to update the data from. And then give it an alias. I'm just going to say we're going to have this as target 3,000. And I don't need to put this all caps. I'll just say target 3,000. And then up next, we're going to find our source. Now, I've already labeled this as source, uh, but this is the data that you're going to be using to update that first table. So all I have to do is put using and then just copy this table over here. And I'm going to say source 3000. Now, you're going to have to connect these two tables. So it's very similar to like a join uh, where you have the join on. So all we're going to do is on. Now, for this example, we can consider the player name as a primary key. Occasionally, there are players that have the same exact name, uh, but currently, pitcher-wise, and to have over 3,000 strikeouts, there is not. So, all we're going to have to do is put on, and we're going to say target 3,000, the player name equals, and then we're going to do the same thing for here, source 3,000, 
the player name. And now these two tables are connected. So again, we're gonna be merging uh, this target 3000 based off of data in the source 3000. So first thing that I like to do is update the data. So we're gonna be updating these Max Scherzer and Justin Verlander. Uh, so you're gonna do when, and then, which is kind of similar to like a case statement. And then we're gonna say when matched. So we're looking at the player names that are matched between these two tables and the only two common will be Scherzer and Verlander. And we're gonna put also, so we're gonna say, and now we're gonna take a look if the source 3000 Dutch strikeouts is greater than the target 3000 strikeouts. So again, Scherzer 3232, 3193, 3220, 3198. Uh, so both of these are gonna fit that criteria of being matched and the source is greater than the target. So now we need to let it know what we are gonna be doing. So we're gonna say then, again, very similar to a case statement, we're gonna say update, we're gonna say set, and we're gonna set the target 3000 strikeouts, which is the numbers over here. Now, those are gonna equal the source 3000 strikeouts, which are these down below over here. So that is the one basic line for the matched. Now, I do wanna let you know that the red over here is because I don't have a semicolon. You're supposed to put the semicolon at the very end of your merge. Uh, so we still have another line of code, so I'm not going to put that over there yet, but that is why we are getting an error. Now we need to take a look at when not matched. So essentially adding myself to that 3000 strikeout list, since I am only in the source, right? And I am not in this strikeouts target. That's why I need to add myself. And again, if this was later in the season, we would probably have Zach Greinke and Clayton Kershaw to add into this table, but since they haven't hit 3,000 yet, I just added myself for the example. So we're gonna do the opposite of matched. So this time we're gonna say when not matched, like that, and we're gonna say and source.3000 strikeouts is greater than 2,999, so anyone 3,000 or higher, we're gonna have then, and now we have to do our insert because we're going to insert these values. So we're going to just say insert. We're going to have to define specifically what columns. So if you remember from earlier in this table, which is shown over here, we need to have the player name. So just like that. And then also strikeouts. So like that. And then we're going to just put in values. And we're just going to grab source.3000 again. So I'm just going to copy this here twice. And instead of strikeouts for that first one, I'm going to copy over player name. And that did, that copy did not work. This time it did. Uh, so again, how I rate this out. So we're looking at when these are not matched and the source 3000 strikeouts is greater than 2999, anyone 3000 or higher. Then we're going to insert those values into this original table over here, which is the target. Uh, so we're going to insert those source. I'm going to end this off with a semicolon. And before I run the statement, again, if you take a look at this target table, 19 results, 3198, 3193. So now if I run this, which I'm just gonna grab all this and click execute, it says three rows affected. So it should affect Max Scherzer, should affect Justin Verlander, and should affect Ryan Nolan. So if we go back over here now and we run this statement, you can see Justin Verlander, 3220. Max Scherzer, 3232, different than that. And Ryan Nolan, 3001. So now if I grab this over here and this here, and we're gonna order by strikeouts, you can see the new placement of the 3000 club. So, and I'm gonna put this actually in descending, which is way better. And you can see currently Justin Verlander is 13 and Max Scherzer is number 12. Fergie Jenkins was at 3192. So he got passed by both of those players. And then we have 3154, which uh, Pedro is already below. But Fergie Jenkins has dropped down in the list by two spots because Scherzer and Verlander both passed him this season. Hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, make sure to subscribe as it does help grow the YouTube channel. By the way, I have a whole video on SQL wildcards over here. I highly suggest that you start watching that video now.